Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be going over a whole bunch of Dokkan Battle 1000 Day Celebration Part 2 information. Before that starts, I did want to say a couple things. One, I did get a new cell phone. So I now have the Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, really happy with the phone. Now, the reason why I ended up upgrading the phone, well, one, I was getting a new cell phone plan. Two, I had the Note 4. So it was really, really old. The battery was dying. I did get a new battery for it. Didn't help me at all. Um, I ended up playing with the, because I knew it had upgraded features and everything. And it was between the Note 4, or sorry, the Note 8 and the S9 Plus. Turns out that the S9 Plus had a little bit of a better processor than the Note 8. So uh, I ended up going with it, and I've been playing Bleach Brave Souls, and let me tell you, there is almost no lag anymore. Um, there's no more glitching, there's no more freezing. Uh, I played co-op on IZ Inheritance Zone, and I was just doing phenomenal in it. I was actually able to dodge the entire time, and that is definitely not something that happened before. Uh, even when I was doing regular quests, like, you know, not co-op, regular quest missions, if there was too much going on, on the screen, it would lag. You know, it would freeze up, and I would end up getting hit. So this is definitely a huge improvement. So I will definitely now be doing content for Bleach Brave Souls. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be going into news and building and stuff like that, but I might just do some basic gameplay videos because it's a lot of fun to do Bleach Brave Souls gameplay. Uh, with that being said, uh, I may try to start doing Bleach Nights where like whoever wants to grind out Bleach Brave Souls with me can go ahead and we can jump on live stream. You can join my rooms. So uh, I know a couple of you were doing that with me before. There's only about one or two of you who actually played the game. So uh, now that I can actually, you know, go through menu by menu without any problems, that they load quicker, I can do an informative gameplay on it, so how to use the game, um, and then we can go from there. Anyone who wants to join my guild, feel free to. Um, anyway, so that's for me for another video. Uh, also, one more thing I want to state, I will probably not be here this coming weekend, uh, this Friday and Saturday. It's going to be 75 degrees. So Friday, I'll be working on my brakes. I got to change the brakes, rotors, and calipers. And then after that, I'm just riding my motorcycle. I got a whole bunch of cool stuff coming in for it. So um, I will be out riding for at least two days straight. <laughs> uh, but anyway, now let's go into the Dokkan battle information. That was a full two minutes of my life. <laughs> um, so the Thousand Day Celebration Part 2. So first off, we have the login bonuses. They're going to continue. Make sure you log in every single day. Um... I guess the cool thing is you get 10 dragon stones upon the first login. So I already logged in. I did the summon on the new banner that's out right now. I didn't get any. Well, I got some SSRs. Didn't record it. Uh, but it was. I didn't get the the new LR Bojack, unfortunately. Uh, but you get that. And you get you still get your celebration tickets. Now, I still have a whole all my celebration tickets. I'll be doing them all at once for you guys in one video. Maybe I'll get something good. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I think I used one. I think I used one ticket total. Uh, I will not be using purchasing the packs either. Um, the Thousand a Day Celebration Mission Part 2. Um, this is just your dailies, so or your, your special mission rewards. Your dailies every day complete 10 stamina and 30 stamina. I have been doing this. I always do my dailies. Um, you have time limit to clear any stage three times. I believe you have until the 14th, so you have five, uh, uh, well, four more days from now uh, to complete thir uh, 30 stages. Um, it's not that difficult. I mean, if you haven't grinded out the Raditz event fully, you will definitely be able to do it without any issues. Uh, if you're already grounded at the Raditz event and all the other events that are here, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, try, find something that you can go and grind out. Um, I'm sorry, it's here till the 19th, not the 14th. It's right there on the computer screen. Why didn't I see that? Whoop, right there. <laughs> um, yeah, so go ahead and grind it out. The Dragon Stones are definitely worth it. You always want some good free uh, Dragon Stones. Um, the one that hasn't been available yet is the Performer's Extreme Z Awakening. The Broly event is going to be here very soon uh, to Extreme Z Awaken your Brolies. So for those of you who are looking to do that, you know, I'm definitely going to be doing it if I could handle it with my team. Uh, with that being said, it's not a requirement for me. I'm just doing it because, you know, whatever, I should do it. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so that's that. Uh, there's going to be, what, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Dragonstones total from your time limited rewards. Um, in terms of the events that are going, we have a whole bunch of events that are here. So let's go ahead and start from the top. Uh, we already went over the login bonuses part 2. Uh, just log in every day. That's all you have to do. Even if you're not going to do the gameplay and not do the stamina, at least log in and get your bonuses. Uh, that's what I say. I mean, even the games that I don't play, I at least log in and do my daily logins because you might as well, right? Why the heck not? Um, in case you ever want to pick it up again, you'll at least have all the, the cool stuff from it. Um, special Missions Part 2, we already went over. Dragonstone Stones are on sale. You have three Dragon Stones at the price of one Dragon Stone once per day. Um, I don't usually do that unless it's five. Uh, but I guess you can if you want to. 30, uh, 32 Dragon Stones over 50% discount once. And 91 Dragon Stones 20% discount three times only. Now, I don't know. I, I'm not purchasing anything. I just like dropped a lot of money between the, the car repairs I need, 
but the motorcycle stuff that I want it and the new phone that I kind of slash need it um, I, I, I don't have up doing any summons for a while and that includes the bleach brave souls so I will probably not get any of the other manga units in there <laughs> um, but legendary summons here I really would like this LR Bojack I have a very lit uh, extreme intelligence team he would just make it that much more OP I would be very very happy with him uh, you have no idea uh, getting two of him especially because uh, if I could get two of him oh my gosh but uh, thing is, I really have some really good support items, support units, I mean. Um, so the only thing that I would really probably replace would either be Buhan or Janemba. I, would, I wouldn't know which one I would want to replace on that team. Uh, because the Kid Boos are obviously staples. You want both of them. Janemba tanks everything. He doesn't hit that hard, but I gave him full crit and dodge. Uh, and then you have the um, Buhan, which while he isn't as relevant in terms of power, he debuffs the enemy and he heals. So it's like, Bojack, which one do you replace? Especially because my Buhan and Janemba are both 100%. So uh, that would be a very difficult decision for me to make. But he is here, so if any of you pulled him, good luck. I hope you get him. And let me know what decision you would make on your kid Boo team. Because obviously you're going to want Bojack on primary. Which one would you replace? Janemba or uh, Buhan? Which one do you think? Down? Let me know in the comments below. Anyway, Super Ga uh, Galactic Crisis. Uh, sorry, Galactic Crisis Super Guy in the Galaxy. Uh, that event is back. You definitely need that for the Bojack event. We're going to go over that in a minute. Um, the Vegeta and the Indomitable Warrior event is back, so if you haven't grinded out the medals to Doken Awaken that Vegeta, make sure you do that, please. When you get him, if you don't have him already, you will definitely want that counter ability. He is very good, and honestly, a lot of people, even me, I run him on a um, on a on my mono strength team all the time because of that counter ability. I think I have bottom left and top right. Oh, sorry, uh, bottom right and top left do pads unlocked. So. Uh, he's a beast, let me tell you, especially when he crits. I mean, he's not phenomenal in terms of damage output for one hit, but when he counters, it's amazing. The Broly's uh, Extreme Z Awakening, that's not going to be here till Friday, so you have some time until that becomes available. It's going to be Friday night, so um, I will not be doing it on Friday or Saturday. Like I told you, I'm I'm just going to be logging in and doing my dailies on Dokkan and Bleach. I will not be doing anything else on Fridays and Saturdays. So, um, yeah, I'll do. I'll probably maybe Saturday night I will hop on a live stream and do, do some of the Extreme Z Awakening. Uh, before I go to bed for work. Um, that's going to be available for both of them. I guess we also have the banner with Broly on it. Uh, I don't know if we're, who's going to be on the banner. I feel we might have the 120 lead Veg Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta on there. We don't know. I'm not sure. Um, I haven't looked that up yet anyway. We have the Extreme Z Battle Challenge packs. Uh, I don't recommend buying them at all. They are usually ripoffs. Uh, you can do it. I believe uh, from what D Monty said, uh, you're just you're paying a little bit extra, but you get to get what you get an Elder Kai out of or Grand Elder Kai. So it's like getting a free dupe. It's up to you if you want to do it. I personally would not recommend doing it. And then we also have the Hybrid Saiyans banner, which, I mean, if you have a Hybrid Saiyan team and you're looking for Hybrid Saiyans, you're definitely going to want to summon on that if you don't have a good team set up. Um, if you do have a good Hybrid Saiyan team, probably not going to be worth it. They're probably, they may, I don't know, it doesn't say anything here about this, but they may give us like three discounted uh, 30 stone summons, so that way you can get three guaranteed SSRs from here. I don't know yet. That's just uh, speculation from my part. But all this is here, and the LR Bojack, man, look at that freaking team, so epic. Um, so I did want to say, uh, from the Vegeta event, you are going to want to get the Vegeta Trunks and Balma Medals. I'm just going to say this really quick, it's, it's all going to be my weekly grind video tomorrow. Uh, but I figured, you know what, we might as well put this into this video. Uh, you're going to need to get the um, actual uh, medals. The Vegeta Medals are going to be available from Baba's shop. So you're going to need to go ahead and grind out from the stage in order to go into Baba's shop and make the purchases I'm going to tell you right, right now. Um, the, the Trunks medals are actually from the event, uh, so let's see over here. So you're going to have to go here to level 2 and get these um, Baba's treasures. I guess, so I don't know what the heck they're actually called. Um, let's we'll click on it and see what, no, yeah, it doesn't really say anything. Um, anyway, go ahead and collect those from stage 2 in order to get purchase those Vegeta medals. Uh, even if you don't have them, definitely do it. You're going to need, where are you, Vegeta? You're going to need 7 of each, so the, the, you're going to need to buy the 7 uh, Vegeta medals. Now, there's also the Beerus medals that are going to be available for purchase, so you're going to want to get seven of each in order to Doken Awaken this Beerus if you end up pulling him as well. I just personally would focus on Vegeta because I think Vegeta's a better unit just in case you get him over the Beerus. Um, the Trunks medals are going to be available on Stage 1. The Bulma medals are going to be available on Stage 3. Uh, and then you have the Free-to-Play Vegeta, which is available on Stage 4. So you can go ahead and do that. Uh, definitely grind them out while you can. Um, I think this one doesn't require, yeah, he doesn't require the Vegeta medals, he just requires the farmable uh, Balma and Trunks medals to Doken Awaken, so you can do that if you want to. I did a full in-depth video of this, so if you want to go back in the history and check it out, feel free to. But yeah, uh, definitely grind this event out and get the uh, the special items over here for Baba Shop and buy those Vegeta um, 
the Vegeta medal, so that way you can Doken Awaken when he gets it. Also remember the Beerus is there well if you haven't done the Beerus ones. Uh, in terms of the Bojack, now we're moving over to the Bojack event and stuff. Um, you're going to need the Bojack medals that are going to be available. The Nimbus medals are completely separate. Um, I, I'll just do a separate video. I'm actually, you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, the Bojack medals you're going to need, it's going to be from the Galaxy event. This is the Galactic Crisis Super Guide. Um, Zanya medals are stage 3. Level 4 is going to be the um, Gokua medals. Uh, Beto medals are going to be on stage 5, level 5. And Bujin medals are going to be on stage 6. And Bojack medals are going to be on stage 7. Bujin is the biggest pain in the butt once to get because you have to stop 3 times. I think I told you guys that last week. Um, you definitely want to grind those out though. Uh, and then for those of you who are looking for Gohan medals, they're on stage 9. Um, so... In order to do this, let's see, the Nimbus medals are going to be from the Time Attack mission, so you're going to go into the Time Attack Supreme Kai Trials, look for which ones are going to be there, and then click on whatever it is, so whatever's available, that's how you get the medals in order to Doken Awaken your Bojack. Um, now, like, like I said before, you're going to need, let's see, you're going to need uh, Bojack medals, and you're going to need Nimbus medals. When you Doken Awaken him to this guy, you're going to go ahead and you're going to need the... Um, the Zanya medals, the Beto medals, the uh, Gokuwa medals, and the Bujin medals. In order of Dokun, you need 12 of each, so go ahead and make sure you grind them out in order to get him Dokun Awaken. Then he'll Dokun Awaken um, to his LR variant once you get all those. Then he is this monstrous beast who is phenomenal. I will be doing a full in-depth overview of him in a separate video, team building guide, linking guide, all that stuff. I know I did one for the JP side, but I will be doing it again. Um, outside of that, let's see over here, uh, the Gokua that's here, he will token Awaken with seven of his own medals, so you go ahead and grind out an additional seven from him, so remember to keep that in mind while you're grinding out medals, and also Zanya, which already has a token Awakening, but I figured I'd mention her since we're already talking about it, she needs seven of her own medals as well to token Awaken her here, um, she will be an HP Regenerator, I don't know how often you're gonna really run her on a team, when she token Awakens that passive skill of 10% HP at the start of the turn, that's really all she does, and she lowers the attack of the enemy, so it's kind of like, I guess she's a healer, but you don't really need her. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. That's everything that's here for you guys today. Um, it's really all focused around the Bojack. Bojack's the new thing, so uh, if you have Zanya, you have Gokua, and you have LR Bojack, so just make sure you go ahead and grind out all of those medals while you can. But anyway, guys, that's it. I'll be doing a full in-depth guide for the Bojack at some point later. Maybe to, maybe for Thursday I'll do that video. Um, once, I get that, once I get that video up and running, that way you guys know what... Um, how to build a good team around him again if you want to look at the jp side when i did that go ahead and check that out but anyway guys thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all in the comments below peace